Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with what used to be called Freeze Friday Layout Shares. And that's because it was part of um, a, a group called Freeze Gang that had voluntary spending freezes. And um, it was kind of a weekly report of what you'd created and how much you'd spent and, uh, and so forth. The name of the group has changed to Low Buy Spending Chill. And how I'm gonna work it is I'm going to, <coughs> at, at the beginning of each month, specify kind of some plans and a strategy and, and kind of what, what my ideas are about spending uh, and, and creating that month. And then weekly I'll do, and, and I'm gonna continue to do it on Fridays, um, and you know how well I stick to the Friday schedule. Fridays if I can and other days if I can't. But um, it's, it's going to, you'll see a different um, thumbnail on Facebook it's, or, or on uh, YouTube. It'll say low buy spending chill and then it'll have a little tag that says um, weekly layout share and spending report. And so <coughs> at the beginning of the month, I will specify, I'll kind of do a, a summary and maybe show some um, items in kits that I've made, page kits or uh, products that I would like to buy or, you know, whatever, kind of my idea, ideas for the month. And then on a weekly basis, every Friday, I'll kind of tell you how I'm doing against those objectives and I'll show you what I created with the kits hopefully kind of with the kit or, you know, using whatever strategy I specify at the beginning of the month. So this particular video is going to have both my plans in very general terms. I'm not going to show you anything there. And then I'll review the three layouts that I created this week and kind of talk about a few things that I'm planning to, um, to do. So first of all, I discover, as you know, I've been sick recently. So while I was at home, uh, at, at times when I felt decent enough to to be up and around and 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 moving, and I I kind of used it sort of as the gym visit or exercise to kind of get up and and uh, move through my craft space and do some reorganizing. <coughs> and in that, I I'm also trying to purge some. Um, stash to take for the freebie table at the uh, retreat that I'm going to at the end of the month, which is the Scrapping Reflections uh, retreat in McKinney, Texas. And so I've got quite a few uh, things that I um, had separated out before for another retreat that I didn't get to go to because of COVID. And um, I'm adding that, adding to that a whole bunch of, of things. And one, one area, just as an example, I went through, I have a cart that was filled with, oh, I don't know, a thousand sheets of paper that were various collections to do with travel and, and things to do with travels to beaches, road trips, air travel, cruise travel, things like that. A lot of different, anything that had anything to do with travel or had that name in the, in the collection, I kind of stuffed it in there. And I had three drawers of embellishments, sticker sheets, uh, ephemera, and then miscellaneous uh, scraps and die cuts and things like that. So I went through that and I, I, I will say that I have not um, completely gone through it, but I've done the major purge and I've pulled out um, things that kind of went with the idea of the simple vintage coastal. I used that um, collection. I was only able to buy a few um, pieces of that for, uh, um, you know, I, I waited too late and, and there's just not that much left. But I, I thought in an advance of it coming in even, I started gathering things that I thought would go with it to make a kit. So I, I, I did, and I've actually created two layouts from that kit. Um, 
along with, and it, it just looks like everything in there could have been sold with that collection, and I'm thrilled to death. So I'm gonna do this a similar thing. I took the things that were purely summer and about summer pool and beach time and stuff like that, uh, kind of put that in one little Ikea stand and another of things that kind of went with the bright um, beachy sorts of things like um, CVS, Cocoa Vanilla, Sunkissed, and I'm kind of beginning to build sort of kits there. And I'm thinking that's going to be great. What what I did with it was that freed up that cart to hold some mixed media stuff that I uh, had had in a different cart, and I needed. Um, uh, I've dedicated the that other cart to all the supplies for gel printing because I've really gotten into that since taking the Vicky Booten class. So having said all of that, my plan for this month is to keep working with that one kit I've built, continue kind of building and purging, uh, which are activities that are gonna go on at the same time um, with uh, the, the bright summer stuff. And then I'll pull some things from just plain stash, maybe combine a couple kits because I'm running low on, on certain um, on, on embellishments in the cocoa vanilla area and so forth. So I'll try to see <coughs> how, what, what I can build. And those are the kits I'm going to use to create with at the retreat. And maybe maybe next Friday I'll show you what those are. They're kind of in in a state of flux right now. Only the one has been built, but uh, the the vintage one. So I'll I'll kind of show that to you. So basically, I I have already I've received this week um, a set of stamps that I ordered the fall release some fall release stamps from Visible Image, and there were a couple. Um, um, stencils in there and I have some albums coming in because I filed about 130 140 albums in um, or uh, pages in albums uh, this week this past week and um, I it pointed out a need for some more albums I kind of switched around some space with those and then I um, I will you know, <laughs> I'm I'm having a, a little. I've got so many ideas. Um, I will have some things to show you there. I will uh, kind of I'll print a bunch of photos that uh, I'll kind of I'm going to build the kits first so that I know what kinds of papers and embellishments I have, and it's going to be mostly summary, mostly. Uh, travel kinds of things. And there are a lot of, of um, photos that I have not uh, scrapped. A lot of anything that happened between 2008 and about 2017, I did mostly Project Life. So there are a lot of things that could I could do 12 by 12 pages now with a sentimental look back at, at some of those things. There are some, some of those photos I'd really like to highlight. So anyway, I'll kind of describe all of that and uh, it'll basically be for the rest of the month kind of getting ready for the retreat. And um, so without further ado, I'm gonna do these three layouts. This was the first one that I did and it was day two of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And this was the sketch. And the prompt for the day was black and white. So I used black and white photos. And I have a black and white mat and some papers in there. I have white on white there. This circle has black and white. But I used, this was a, a page about Ava ringing the bell. There is a video for, for this. It is um, uh, Challenge Accepted. That's the uh, thumbnail you'll find it under. And the Scrap Timber prompt, like I said, was black and white. And it was also done to 30 Days of Sketches. Another thing I'm doing is, <coughs> you know, I have always 
printed out the sketch I'm using or a lift I'm using or other information about challenges. And I have been, um, something just fell off. I have been uh, taping them to the back. But I, I kind of, as I was putting things away, I realized how much bulk that's adding to my albums and it's wasting the paper. So what I'm gonna do is print on the other side of it the next time I, I have a sketch or a lift to do, I'm gonna print on the other side of this. When I've used both sides and done the uh, layout share, I'm gonna put it in the recycle pile. So that's kind of what's happening there. Yes, something fell off. This fell off from, I don't know. I'll have to look at the photo and see where this came from. Uh, two things fell off. Okay, that that is what went there, and I'm not quite sure where this went, so I'll ha I have some gluing to do. I used that new uh, clear liquid glue, and apparently things are not sticking very well. No. This was the second one, and I did this for Mixed Media Frenzy, and it went live, that video went live today, and it is a... Um, it's a version of this layout, and I did palm trees and evergreens. I happen to have these evergreens and, and, and this line of evergreens in the original, just kind of, and you can kind of see there are a variety of trees around the marina. In fact, there were quite a few evergreens, not that many palm trees, and they were planted in pots kind of around the pool, so but I, I went with it anyway because I wanted to. And I used some simple stories. There, again, there's a video for this. There's also a video, and this also was for a couple other challenges. The Bramble Fox Challenge for the month uses this mood board. It has ice cream, boat drinks, palm trees, and it has the, um, <coughs> the floaty. It has, <laughs> so, I had one of those in that um, Simple Stories collection, so I did that. Okay, so that goes there. This one also has a video, and it uses this sketch, and it's doing the Craft Plus Challenge, which is uh, a mood board that includes some skeleton leaves, so that's this is my nod to that mood board. And it's also a Mercy Tierra challenge, which requires uh, green or blue, uh, five or more different papers, five embellishments like, and, and I've got five uh, hand die cuts, manual die cuts, uh, splatters or enamel dots, and I have um, sequins and enamel dots, or, uh, and splatters. So, and there is a video on this one, and it has a um, kind of a, uh, a close-up of this part of this layout because it's miscellaneous challenges. It's not any particular series I'm doing. I'm going to try to do as many of the 30 days of sketches as I can, and every time I do one, I'm going to try to do a video. So it won't be all 30 days, but I'll do my best. So that's it for the week. I'm going to get out my glue and glue this. But I will let you go now. Thank you for watching. And I will see you. I guess my next video will be on uh, possibly if I do tomorrow's uh, day four um, sketch of the 30 days, I'll do a video that goes live tomorrow, which is Saturday. And then tomorrow I'll be making the Scrap Squad Sunday video, which goes live on Sunday. And if I do day five of 30 days, I will have two videos out on Sunday. So we'll see. I, I'm not making any promises because I have a whole lot uh, going on in the month of September. <coughs> Excuse me and thank you very much for watching. Bye.